Welcome back to Beals Above the Jack. Um, I'm going to have a good look at the sills. Um, the sills are a bit of a nuisance actually. Um, it, there is rot in the very bottom of the sills and there was rot in the sills before I bought the car. And I've looked and somebody's blocked up. I don't know what the block was. Um, the the, the um, drain holes. If you look at this awful mess here. Um, this, this wasn't on the car when I bought it. You know, I bought the car with ho minor holes in the sills. And uh, the garage I took it to, they slopped this plate on and covered it with gold hammerite. I knew that that's the type of job they would make. And quite frankly, it's an embarrassment, but I'm gonna have to cut that off. But to be fair, you know, it wasn't really serious. Let's just try and get underneath. Look, this, I've just poked these with a, with a scriber. Look, this, this comes forward about six or eight inches. It's, it's reasonably solid. Then we've got the odd bit where it's rotten. So I'll have to cut those out. I'll have to cut this out. And quite honestly, the original work was no worse. As you can see from up here, it's completely underneath. Um, if they could have welded, yeah, they could have easily cut this out. But what they've done is stuck a great big horrendous bloody plate. Yeah, the, the original holes were sort of under here somewhere. They weren't massive. They were certainly no worse than what we've got here, which is, you know, it's, it is old and that will all have to be cut out. But it's an easy enough weld, but this is going to be a dog of a job. I'm going to have to grind all this off. And I think underneath this mess, it will be, you know, you can, that's all good metal. And I think underneath this mess, it will be once again good metal. Um, I, it's possible that the ground is so much that the good metal is thin. So I'll probably have to cut it out up to here. But, you know, what the hell. And they've also, they've also ground away part of the, um, the lip. I, I don't, I, you know, it's just a mess. It's, this will all have to be ground off. It's, it's thick, it's just got a bloody great thick plate welded on over relatively minor rust. What they did, they sort of ground the rust down and then put a plate over it. And they've, they've overplated it by about two or three inches. So I do think I'll be able to cut this off. It's been there since, you know, I've been driving this car all along. And obviously from up here, you can't really see it. So I'm going to, because they've made a mess of that side, I can't get the profile correct. So I'm going to take the profile, I'm going to make a cardboard template. It screws the camera wobbling about. I'm, I'm crawling about one handed here and um, I'm trying to, um, trying to get myself in a position where the camera can see what I'm doing. Let's have a look. Is that going to work or not? But what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the cardboard, put the cardboard on the end. Because I need to be able to get, there's a, there's, there's a curve, then there's a flat bit, and then there's 90 degrees. So I need to be able to get all that in one go. And on that side, over, over, over there, because they've been pissing about with it, it's, it's all the wrong shape. So um, that's all I'm going to do. Just go... Uh, Pop the, uh, pop the card on here and just, just trace around there with a pencil. And I was going to do it on camera, but I don't think, I don't think the, um, I don't think the camera can, uh, let me just let the pedestrians pass. There we go. I don't think I can get the camera at such an angle that it can film me doing it. Maybe I can, let's have a go. Let's have a go. It either will or it won't. Very easy job. I'm just hold that on. I'm just gonna draw around it with a with a pencil. Ooh, excuse me, whole thing. I can't breathe, Pop, because I'm squeezed up here. There we go. There we go. It's a bit rough, but I can I can quite easily. There we go. So I'll just sort of uh, I'll cut that out with a pair of scissors. So that's got a rough a rough shape. This is actually, this bit here is completely flat from there right the way along, that's flat. So realistically I'll end up replacing this, this and prob probably the curve to about there. It's not going to be a massive repair but it's going to be very long, it'll be about a metre long. So what I'll do, I'll, um, I'll turn the camera off here and I'll, I'll trim that out with a pair of scissors. And, I, and I'll trace it onto a piece of steel that's cut out and I'll, um, I'll cut it with snips. <laughs> 